Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to take a look at Thermaltake's Frio CPU Cooler. And here it is. This is the Frio CPU Cooler from Thermaltake. This is their new cooler that's specifically designed for overclocking CPUs. It has the potential of dissipating at least 220 watts. So let's take this CPU cooler out of the box have a look at the accessories that come with this cooler and we'll put this on the test bench and make a direct comparison with the stock Intel cooler that comes with the Core i7-980X. With the Thermaltake Frio came the following accessories. An additional 120mm fan for push-pull configurations, four soft rubber vibration fan mounts, an assortment of mounting hardware, thermal grease, rubber mounting o-rings or spacers, an LGA backplate that's compatible with the included LGA 775, 1156 and 1366 mounting hardware, an installation kit for AMD's AM3, AM2 Plus and AM2 sockets, and a multilingual installation and warranty guide. The Frios cold plate is manufactured from copper, machined flat and nickel plated for a mirror-like finish. The devilish look and black and red colour scheme used on the Frio is very appealing and complements lots of the latest hardware available to the PC enthusiast. Now let's undress the Frio and check out what makes this air cooler so special. Total thickness of the Frios cold plate is 12mm. This includes the cold plate's aluminum top cap, copper base plate and heat pipes. To effectively cool the cold plate, the Frio is armed with 5 8mm zinc plated copper heat pipes. And to further assist in dissipating the heat from the CPU, the cooler has an array of 48.5mm thick radiant heat fins. For maximum cooling potential, the Frio can utilize two 120mm fans in a push-pull configuration. Each fan comes with a 3-pin header connector and a manual variable fan speed controller. Now let's mount the Frio on the test bench and compare it to the Core i7-980X stock Intel CPU cooler. For this test, we will be subjecting both the Frio and the Intel stock cooler to 30 minutes of Prime95. To monitor and capture the temperature data, we will be using Realtemp 3.4. Each cooler will be tested with five 30-minute torture tests and the results averaged. To measure the noise level of both CPU coolers during the test, we will be monitoring the test bench with an Xtech Sound Level Alert SL130. This instrument is industrial grade and already comes pre-calibrated. And so you can associate the sound levels and provide in this reference chart. To reduce confusion and provide as much clarity to the result data as possible, we will only be displaying the median or average temperature result across all six cores. Now, let's check out the results. The Frio is an awesome product. It has the capacity to cool your CPU under extreme benchmarking conditions or even on overclocks up to 4.2 GHz. Now for all you air cooling fans and pardon the pun, if you want to get the best potential out of your CPU, this is definitely the product for you. 
Once again, I hope you enjoyed watching these videos, and don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in PC and gaming hardware, or feel free to follow us on Facebook using the following link.